This was the strongest storm to ever hit land. So fierce it knocked out the systems that measure its strength. Some experts say we can expect more hurricanes and typhoons like Haiyan. Adrian Arsenault explains why. Wrenching, yes. And as ugly as it sounds, Typhoon Haiyan at its angriest. Go ahead, be shocked by what you see, but do not be surprised it happened. There might not be a nation on Earth with more reason to be afraid of nature. 184 natural disasters in just over a decade in the Philippines. Massive jarring earthquakes and increasingly deadly storms. The thousands of tiny islands cannot withstand much more, and neither clearly can the people. And today we say, I care. We can fix this. Let Poland and Warsaw be remembered forever as the place where we truly cared to stop this madness. The Philippines Climate Commissioner pleading with the UN. He made almost an identical speech last year after yet another catastrophe. I appeal to all, please, no more delays, no more excuses. What he knows is that modeling from climate scientists of all stripes suggests that as bad as it has been, Filipinos need to brace themselves for more. We may actually see a decrease in the total number of storms. Some of our computer models indicate that. But the strongest storms are expected to get stronger. Bad news for the Philippines, considered the most vulnerable place in the world to tropical storms. They sit at the long end of an area of warm water that extends to great depth. And there's no land between them and where those typhoons form. So the typhoons pick up all that heat energy and go barreling into the Philippines. As did Haiyan, the worst storm ever to hit land. Number two was in 1969 in Mississippi. And the hurricane is really beginning to be felt here. With winds at 306 kilometers per hour. Okay, so we got what, 12 miles to the wall here? There has been precision on Atlantic storm measurements for decades. We're about to go in. That's because American resources allow for hurricane hunter aircraft to routinely fly into the worst weather systems to measure pressure and wind speeds. That hard data helps establish trends. But it's been 25 years since a hurricane hunter was flown into a Pacific system. There just isn't the money regionally to pay for it. And the ability to measure systems from the ground there just got ruined. The Philippines was in the process of establishing weather stations. The typhoon destroyed them. It had just built this new radar dome, but the storm literally took its head off. The dome and data gone. So the bottom line is the storms there will get worse, only measuring them and coping with them won't get any easier. Remember, the Philippines has a fragile economy and a population that can be hard to reach. This is the third deadly disaster in just under a year, and of course, there's another storm brewing in the Pacific. Peter? Senior correspondent Adrian Arsenault here in Toronto tonight. Thanks, Adrian.